On the night of my mother's death, I was driving home to Clarion. It was about dusk. And I was driving through the forest and came upon a meadow. And there in the meadow was a very small doe, reddish in color. Obviously, in the 50-some years I've been driving that stretch of highway, I had seen many a deer. But something was mysterious, almost mystical about this one. It screamed out to me of peace. In the midst of all that I had been through that day, it was a sense that it would be okay. Life would go on. I didn't know quite what to make of it. I simply filed it away in that recess of my brain where I keep those strange encounters. Two years later, however, I stood before a door. And when it opened, I came face to face with that little red deer. It was a deer that I came to know as mom, a woman that I had not known for 62 years. Coincidence? I don't think so. For these things happen to me far too often to be just a piece of undigested dinner, or some psychological mumbo-jumbo or explained away by some scientific phenomenon. They point to a world beyond the reality that we know, a transcendent world, a world of spirit, a world where God dwells. It's a world that is very foreign to most of us today. It is a worldview that we have done well to exercise from our social consciousness. The focus is on us these days, not on some transcendent realm or even some authority that stands over and against us. And yet, there are those moments when it breaks in. Even the church has done disservice to this understanding of the transcendent God. We have focused so much these days on the incarnation that Jesus becomes little more than a buddy. And God, the transcendent God, gets filed away as a concept for the hereafter. And yet, again and again, that transcendent breaks through. It breaks through in those moments of encounter with a strange vision, with a dream that is not really a dream. I've heard it spoken of by those I worked with when I was doing grief support, those quote-unquote visits in the night by a loved one to comfort, to reassure. We've all probably had moments where we've looked at a sunset or a sunrise and felt strange. Yes. God continues to break through, to remind us of a transcendence that we cannot control, that we cannot explain away, we cannot rationalize. It is a world of spirit, a world of the divine, a world that holds this world in the palm of God's hand.
Immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light inaccessible, hid from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the Ancient of Days, Almighty, victorious, thy great name we praise.